Okay. It feels so weird to be on camera again. Ah. Hold on. All right. Let's just do this. it's Kayla welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here so I know I haven't posted in a while I have to get used to looking at the camera again I'm, I keep looking at myself I don't know is it? anyways it's been a while since I posted I know it's been six months to be exact it's been pretty hectic honestly the last time I posted was around the time that COVID was becoming bigger in the US things were starting to shut down when that first happened I was like yes this will give me the opportunity to film more YouTube videos post more and just be so productive towards my channel but the opposite happened for some reason I was just in a very depressive mind state and I just felt unmotivated for some reason I was unmotivated towards school I kept wanting to film and I had so many video ideas but I wasn't in a proper headspace to actually sit down and film a video and I feel like in order to film a YouTube video I have to be in a certain mood like I'm not just gonna come on camera and be down and sad I just like to feel prepared when I'm filming but yeah I don't want to talk too much about it just know that I am back I will be posting every week or at least I will try to but for now I am feeling a lot better I did get surgery this summer I got my appendix removed I actually went to a lake this summer with my family and my best friend and I filmed it so that will probably be next week's video I don't want to ramble too much. I just want to get straight into this video. It's pretty exciting. It's going to be 20 things that I've learned at 20. So my birthday was on October 6th. I turned 20. I'm a Libra. Period. Libra gang. I just wanted to speak about 20 things I've learned at 20. These are in no particular order at all. They're pretty random. Some of them are more serious than others. So at the end, I will probably include like little snippets of my 20th birthday party. I filmed little things like leading up to my birthday party but I didn't get to film everything. I kinda wish I had, but at the same time, I do like being in a present moment. But I do wanna get into vlogging more, so I'm definitely gonna try to work on that. You guys will definitely see that though, like in my late vlog, I was okay at vlogging. It wasn't the best, but I was okay at it. So yeah, let us let me just stop talking, I'm always doing this. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna be doing my makeup while telling you guys my lessons that I've learned. Um, I haven't done my makeup in a while, so it's gonna be exciting. I kinda wanna do a red lip. We'll see how that goes. Let's get right into it. So with the weather change, like I've been having dry patches on my face. Okay. Like I was saying, I just have these dry patches on my face. I think it's eczema, but they feel horrible. And you could see it, they're apparent. Like it's just redness and yeah. So I'm using this e.l.f. primer. And let's just jump into the first lesson that I learned. So the first lesson that I learned is to not live your life in the should of, could of, or the would of. I just feel like living your life like that just makes you bound to always having regrets. And living your life in regret is not it. It's not living, basically. Why live your life always wishing you could take back what you went through already? Like, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And if you constantly beat yourself up about things that you did, you're not going to feel happy at all you should just accept what you did learn from it yeah just know better for next time like there's nothing wrong with making mistakes everything happens for a reason period all right now i'm on to my brows and the second lesson is to eliminate the things in your life that hinder your growth this is so important and this doesn't just go for people in your life like obviously you have to eliminate the people that are toxic and just aren't doing anything good for you. Like if they're not benefiting your mind and they're just bringing you down all the time, you gotta let them go. Like even if they're family sometimes. But this could also be a job. It could be the food you're eating. If junk food isn't making you happy, which it doesn't make anyone happy, honestly. Like if you really think about it, junk food makes us mad tired. It makes us feel so groggy and so nasty afterwards. But it's quick food. Like that's why people eat it, but in reality, it's not making us feel good. So I had to learn to be okay with letting go of things 
that aren't making me happy and that I feel are just holding me back from being the better version of myself. So the next valuable thing that I've learned is to invest in yourself. Meaning, invest in your appearance. When I get my nails done and my hair done, I feel so much better about myself. Not meaning that appearance is everything, but compared to when I'm not caring about my parents and just looking like whatever, I definitely feel better about myself knowing that I actually took the time and took the effort to look better and feel better. And also, this also goes for clothing as well. As I'm getting older, I do find importance in looking up to par and impressions mean a lot, especially in a professional world. I don't know. I forgot how to do my makeup. I forgot how to film. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Get it together, Kayla. Get it together. So the fourth lesson is one that I feel like a lot of people already know or just learned from a very young age, which is to trust your gut. Seriously, trust your gut. Trust your instincts because, in my opinion, 95% of the time, it's right. You're not feeling that way for no reason. And I do have anxiety, so sometimes I tend to overthink situations. And I could think myself into things that I don't really need to be thinking about. I'm gonna just mix these because I don't know if that other one is my shade anymore. I had a tan this summer, so my skin is darker than it usually is. Okay, this one looks better than the other one. And I feel like depending on the situation, your gut instinct will make you think with your head instead of with your heart in certain situations though like not all the time obviously if it's telling you don't go to that party like don't go to that party if it's telling you not to plan that trip don't plan the trip it's just certain things where you never know what could happen and just the fact that you're already having second thoughts about it could make all the difference in what happens next i feel like most times where i kept having that feeling later on i would realize why i had it you know when I didn't follow it. Now, nah, good thing I covered those dark patches because my skin is going through it every single winter though. Every winter, like anyone else. All right, let's get into concealer. The fifth lesson is one that I especially learned over the summer, especially when I was going through whatever I was going through mentally, is that it's okay not to be okay. You know, I feel like, especially with social media, it could seem that life is supposed to be all happy and rainbows but in reality we're not always going to be 100 percent and we're not always going to be motivated or driven to continue on there's things that could just catch us off guard throw us off our games and all it takes is us to get up and get back on our feet but in the process that may seem like it's impossible and that's okay it's okay to go through those emotions. Sometimes people make it seem like you should just ignore those negative thoughts and just focus on the positive, but that's unrealistic, honestly, because especially at this age, you should be able to recognize the different emotions that you have and the different reactions that you have to certain things in order to know how to get through them. We're looking a little pale, but don't worry, y'all. I'm gonna fix this. This always happens. <laughs> this is literally, Okay, it doesn't even look as bad as it does like when I'm over here. And I'm not gonna have flashback either. Like, this is just how I be looking when I do my makeup. Cause my skin complexion is just a little weird. I feel like my undertone is neutral, but there's some hints of warm and cool. And I can't find like the proper shade to go with both. So I'll just be experimenting still. See, like this wants to do me dirty. Like, don't want to see me win. My ring light is freaking broken. I don't know if this video is crooked right now. I just got to figure it out. But it's not stopping me right now. I'm still filming this video and I'm still going to get it edited and uploaded. So who said what? Okay, that's what I thought. But on to the next lesson, which is it's okay to not know what direction you want to go to in life. Fact about me, I changed my major four times in college. Or is it three times? So I actually started explaining why I changed my major so many times and the different majors that I changed it to. But it honestly went on for too long. So if you guys want to see a story time of the different majors that I changed to and why, just give this video a thumbs up and I'll do it. So I changed it once again. 
and it was my final major change and it's the current major I'm in now. I want to make a video specifically talking about my major but it is speech language pathology and I love it. I feel like it was my calling. I do want to make an in-depth video about it because every time I speak about speech pathology like I could go on forever. You could ask anyone in my life like I literally could go on forever about speech pathology. But yeah, just going back to the lesson, it's okay to not know what you wanna do in life. Like you see me right now, I didn't think that I would have a ring light and filming for YouTube. I always wanted to be a YouTuber, but I never had the confidence or thought that it could be me actually filming. I thought that I would never know how to edit. I thought it would be the most complicated thing ever, but it's really not. You really just have to take that jump with anything in life. Life is too short to not be living it the way you want to and to live it in other people's vision. So be whatever the heck you want to be because at the end of the day, you only have yourself and you're the only person that could steer your life in whatever direction you envision it and going in, if that makes sense. I'm going to finish this eyeshadow look. I don't know what I'm going for right now, but when I'm done with this, I'm going to go on to my next lesson all right so i wiped off um the baking powder and i put on some lashes um i'm not really feeling this i look like since i have very small eyes what did i just because <sighs> i'm so used to just putting my brush on like whatever eyeshadow palette i'm using and i just did it to my dresser so now i gotta clean it but... so the next lesson that I have learned kind of goes um, hands in hands with the last lesson is that there's always time to reinvent yourself. This basically means that there's always time to change up your style, change up your look, anything. We as human beings, we're always changing. We're always influenced by different things. There's literally nothing wrong with wanting to steer your life in a different direction and just wanting to change like how you are. This doesn't mean putting on a fake persona or anything like that, but just, just taking an interest to new things. Don't allow yourself to be stagnant and unmovable. You're not a statue. You could always change. Just because people know you as one way doesn't mean that you have to stay that way. Because if you stay that way just to please other people and just because you're afraid of what they will say, you're not gonna feel happy in yourself and you're not gonna find your life's purpose being someone that you're not. I'm still finding like my true form and yeah, the journey is going just fine. So the next lesson is to do the things that you enjoy doing as a child. I feel like this really brings back happy memories happy times as i'm getting older like i tend to forget that life isn't just about school and work and there's much more than that the things that made me happy i forgot what they were because i stopped doing them once i became older so tapping back into my childlike self genuinely makes me happy because when i do the activities that i have forgotten about there's just a different type of feeling to it so yeah all right so the next lesson I mainly wrote this down because it's regarding like Uber Eats and DoorDash, which is so random. If you feel like you deserved it, don't feel bad about spending on it. Oh my gosh, I would have so many food cravings and I would have the money to get it, but I would just hold myself back from ordering because I don't know, like be like, I need to save my money. This is unnecessary. When I started just ordering the things that I wanted to order, I felt good. Like I would just feel happy with my food because it would be things that I don't always get to eat and i feel like i would deserve it because i work pretty hard and i'm a stressed out college student i should be able to have good eats when it's available to me simple as that okay so the next lesson is to show appreciation to those in your life and this is so important because you never know when it may be someone's time to go so yeah this lesson is pretty self-explanatory the next lesson is be able to take criticism and this was something that was very hard for me to do because I used to take everything to offense. You would say something to me, I would get super defensive. And sometimes I had a point because people wouldn't know how to say things. So they would make it seem like they're not being offensive, but in reality, like they've been holding that in and they wanted to say it. So at the same time, don't let anyone disrespect you or tell you how to live your life. 
but at the same time be able to take criticism and things that you may not notice that you do but another person took sight of that and they're just trying to help you like they're just trying to help you be a better person and notice your toxic traits but not only that it could also be like at your job and stuff like that there's nothing wrong with improvement there's always room to improve room to be better and other people could help you do that so yeah okay so the 12th lesson is pretty random but um i learned this in high school it's that you don't have to be a champion at a sport to enjoy it i played lacrosse all four years of high school and i was not the best at it honestly like but i had fun doing it and i like the bond that i built with my teammates that's why i played like i didn't play to win no championship or anything I really won any games but we still played because we still played because it was fun like we enjoyed practice and stuff like that other people were more competitive than others but i definitely was like mm, i'm just doing it because i i just like being a part of something so yeah the 13th lesson which also goes hand in hand with school and stuff like that is that grades do not define your intelligence i say this because there's a lot of factors that affect how much effort I'm putting into a class. Throughout my life, I have met so many people that were more street smart than book smart. They taught me so many things in a short span and I've learned in all my years of schooling. It's things that are so valuable that schools don't even teach you, but they would be considered not as intelligent just because they don't score high on tests. Like, no. That no the 14th lesson that i learned um i actually learned it from my little sister brie brie i had to keep in mind that kids minds aren't as developed as adults and i feel like this sounds like such an obvious statement but sometimes adults forget that kids are literally still developing they're still new to things it's things that may be born to us are new to them the 15th lesson is to be kind to anyone you encounter connections are super important there's no reason to be mean like just to be mean the 15th lesson is to be comfortable with calling yourself out this is super important because we aren't perfect and we shouldn't pretend like we're perfect and we also shouldn't convince ourselves that we're perfect like i said there's always room for improvement this isn't mine this is my cousin sakisha rose water thing and we we accidentally switched bottles child i'm about to give that back to her tomorrow we're going to a halloween party tomorrow but i'm gonna give this back to her because i don't even know why she would put this stuff in there okay so i'm gonna grab my urban decay all night setting spray oh, I got it in my eye. the 17th lesson is to look up the meaning of your dreams and nightmares i learned this lesson because every single time i would have a dream that literally like I would wake up and I would remember everything that happened which isn't often but when it does happen like I feel like there's a meaning to it and every single time I look up a meaning of that dream whatever dream it is it's accurate as to what's going on in my life I just feel like there's a lot of significance to what you're thinking about when you're asleep yeah Google is my best friend honestly so the 17th lesson which was hard for me to come to terms with and it's still a little hard for me to come to terms with is to listen to advice from your parents like something my dad always says to me is that he has x amount of years on top of me and i would think he was just saying that to be annoying but it's so true i'm not saying everything that he says is reasonable but most lessons that my mom and my dad have taught me do tend to creep up on me like the older i get they weren't being annoying they were just looking out for me the next lesson is that finding a de-stressor is so important like i mentioned earlier life is so much more than school and work and i feel like those are my biggest stress factors and if i'm not finding a way to de-stress and relieve all of that bottled up energy and thoughts that i feel I would just fall into that depressive mind state so i got this lipstick for my birthday from my girl Liz. thank you so much this is actually my first mac lipstick so i'm excited to try it out. all right let's see let's see let's see oh my gosh girl <gasps>
Oh. Who said something? <laughs> Yo. I did like an ombre look on my lips. It's definitely different, but it's cute. She's sassy. So we're gonna wrap this video up. The last lesson is one of the most important ones. And I definitely learned this lesson this year. This lesson is that you become what you constantly think about. This year, I feel like I learned so much about the power of manifestation and just crafting like the life that you want. If you go around life just thinking negatively, that's what you're going to produce. And we don't want that around here. Like we just want good vibes. We want happiness. We want joy. Those were the 20 things that I learned at 20. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm definitely glad to have filmed it and to be back filming for you guys stay tuned for my late vlog and as i always say if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button if you guys want to see more of me make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below what's an important lesson that you have learned in your life i hope you guys enjoy this video once again i know i said that already i'm about to go wash this off i'm tired yeah thank you guys for watching bye so we're currently um, making the bags for the party and they have a sticker on it that says thank you and rose gold and then the bag is pink and we have a rose gold tissue paper and then these bags that have very shortcake popcorn and they have like pink design and then at the very bottom we have um, salt water taffy which is in strawberry. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the process. So we're currently in the process. So this is the tissue paper that I got. I got these from Amazon. And there's rose gold and white. You should just stuff them in a bag. Are you ready for this party to be over? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we planned it so last minute. Mm. But at the same time, it was a Not good time. Really. I mean, it was like four months, right? I don't know. Maybe three, but. I don't know. This, this is my party planner right here. You guys can book her. I'm going to put her email down below. Link in bio. <laughs> Support black businesses and period. period. My She's assistant. Just, her assistant. You want to introduce yourself? Brianna Ortiz. Oh, oh my no! god. <laughs> Yo, what? You can't say your last name on the internet? Um. I'm just happy that she in my life, you feel me? Like, she a blessing, you feel me? Not everybody make it to this age, you feel me? Not everybody could be as good as a friend as she is, you feel me? I just want to say congratulations. I wish you many, many, many more, you feel me? We're going to keep this going on for life. Congratulations, more happy life, birthday, more wealth, you feel me? Happy birthday. Thank happy you. birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.